USB audio versus I squared S. Mm -hmm. Luigi, hey Luigi, in Toronto, Canada writes and he says, Hi Paul, first order of business, I enjoy your informative videos on a daily basis. Thank you, sir. My question is a comparison of USB versus I squared S interfaces. For audio transmissions between sources and destination components, which one do you think is best? The uh, limit, uh, or, and is, I'm sorry, which one do you think is best and, and is there a limit to the length of the cable with the I squared S interface? Well, let, let's talk first about, see these? Terry just got these, these are kind of cool. Oh, we're gonna have these put up. See, they're for CDs. And you put them in like that. I think we're gonna, ah, I think we're gonna put them up on the walls, but they're kind of cool. I think it took like two engineers to try and figure out how to put these things together. You know, well, and thank God it wasn't me because I'm terrible at puzzles. So USB versus I squared S. Well, I would say most people connect computers to DACs and servers to DACs through USB. The universal serial bus, which is what USB is, is a really handy, convenient single connector that tie, has, it has two-way communication, it ties in. It's the most problematic, in terms of sound quality, connection that we have. I mean, people spend more money and go to more trouble connecting up USB uh, because you have to have a driver, it's, it's, it's via a computer or a server, uh, you have to know how to talk to the, the other gear. All that said, um, it's, it's still a very popular way to go because you plug and play if everything's right. Where if you used coax or just an RCA cable, an AES EBU cable, the, the good news is it, it just works. You just plug it in and it works and it sounds great. You don't have all these problems of USB. The bad news is that with a straight digital cable, there is no two-way communication. So the server or the computer can't know what the DAC is capable of doing and you have to do all these configurations and set up stuff. That's eh, not a big deal. But the question was that between that and I squared S. So what is I squared S? So I squared S is the internal transport mechanism of audio, uh, audio signals. Uh, if, you, if you were to buy a little Raspberry Pi and you were playing music on it, it would have two ways to get music out, I squared S and USB, likely. Inside of a CD player, you have a transport and you have a DAC and the two communicate via I squared S. So I squared S has, has a, uh, I think two, three, four lines. One is a clock line, one is a data line. Um, what else is in there? Clock and data. I think there might be a master clock and a word clock, bit clock. But that all the signals are kind of, of what you need are kind of separated out. Now, companies like PS Audio provide this output, this I squared S output, uh, on our transport. We have I squared S inputs on our DAC. Not many companies do that. It is by far the best means of communicating digital audio, by far. That's not even a question. It is sounds so much better than USB that that's probably the quickest answer I could have given Luigi. And it is two-way communication and we use the H an HDMI style connector and cable to do that, but it doesn't have to be, it could be any number of things. People have used all, all sorts of things, but very few companies actually <clears throat> use it because it, it's non-standard, even though it is far superior than, than just straight digital cable, definitely better than USB. So that answers that sort of question. One of the other questions you had, because we, we know that the length of a USB cable is, is limited. You can't go too long without a repeater or a hub or something in between to regenerate that signal because USB is very high speed and you're gonna, you'll lose information over a long run of cables. The same is true for I squared S. You, you don't wanna run it too long because it's running at very high speeds. And so high speed and length 
don't do well together when you're passing them through cables. So I don't think I would, it, it'll go farther than USB, but not a whole lot farther because the bandwidths are pretty much the same. So for quality, I squared S every single time. Okay, thanks. Take it easy. Bye.